Uh, just a quick note before we get started, this week has been a pretty eventful week in terms of uh, magicians and their deaths. Uh, there's two that I want to bring light to, two of them that I don't know, one of them created like the TV magic deck and, and some other things. One of them is Johnny Thompson. Johnny Thompson has been around for a long time. He has a, <laughs> he had a, quite an amazing career. He's made some really big impact on the magic scene and the magic community. He's consulted for TV shows. Most recently he was the big boy on Penn and Teller's Fool Us but he's worked with pretty much everybody and anybody that is in magic today. Uh, he's lived a full life. It's not like he was a young guy, but it's a shame to see somebody like him go. I had the pleasure of hanging out with him a little bit while I was in Vegas a few times, and there's no kinder man with so many accolades to his name. And although it's a shame to see him go, it was... A pleasure to have met somebody who is so honestly I don't even know the word so to Johnny Thompson and his family and his friends I, I mourn your loss but what an honor to have met somebody like him the other person who is also a, a beautiful kind soul who happened to have passed away is a good friend of mine named David Pepka he was a local guy. He wasn't super well known in the magic community, but to those who knew him, his his heart was one of the biggest and the best you've ever met. Super kind guy. Uh, it ran into some health issues a while back, had some heart problems, and recently it kind of came back and he didn't make it through. Uh, he's another guy that you know I was lucky to have called a friend, and I'm sorry to see him go. So to David Pepka and his family and friends, I mourn his loss as well as we all do. It's not just about magic, it's not just about magicians, it's about the people, you know, and these two people that I had the pleasure of knowing were amazing. Uh, to be fair, I didn't know Johnny Thompson that well, I've only met him a few times, but he still had that aura and David Pepka there was no better person. We've had our disagreements like we do with everybody, but even still, he was such a pleasure of a human, and I'm sorry to see both of them go. I just wanted to say that quickly. I uh, didn't mean to bring the mood down, but I also wanted to say something about it because these were people that I knew, and one of them was a good friend of mine. So with that being said, let's just get to the tutorial. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. So today, I'm going to be teaching you a little card trick. Uh, it makes the cards change colors. There's a few different names for this. Some people call it Red Hot Mama. Some people call it Chicago Opener. It was originally called Red Hot Mama and it was created by a guy named Lynn Searless in 1951. It was later called uh, Chicago Opener and some other names, but it's basically all the same effect. It's one card that's chosen, changes color, and then a second selection turns into the first selection that changed color or or originally. I explained it like a So that's it for the history. You've seen what it looks like. Let's just go down to the tutorial and teach you how to do this. It's super simple. All you need is two decks of cards, so grab those now and we'll get right into it. So here's what you need to do the Red Hot Mama. Two decks, two different decks. Uh, you want to try to make the backs pretty contrasting. So these cards are the 
As Is card from uh, Anyone Worldwide that my friend Ben put out for his bar As Is. And this is the Tricks deck that uh, was put out a while ago. And uh, I just like it because the cards are actually very contrasting, as you can see. So that's it. So whichever card you take out from this deck, you're going to need the duplicate of it. So here's the card from that back, and here's the card from this deck. And this is your setup. You're going to take the one from the deck you're using, you're going to put it in the face, and then you're going to take the duplicate from the extra deck, and you're going to put that on top of it. That's your setup. The rest doesn't matter. So you start by having somebody pick a card, let them take a look at it or whatever. Let's say the King of Spades. And now you're going to want to cut the deck so that these cards go on top of that selection. Now you don't have to do this on the table. I did this on the table and you know I just dribbled it, showed the card, and then I cut it that way. But I'll just do it like this. So let's say the three of spades, three of cl uh, clubs, I'm sorry. That card's gonna go right here. And then you spread through and you're going to cut at the card that is different. So right here. So what that's going to do is it's going to put the duplicate on the bottom to do your Hindu force in a second. And it's going to put you in a position to do a double lift. So that's exactly what you're going to do. So you're going to do your double lift. You're going to show that their card is now the card with the different back. Okay. And then you're going to put the card down. What you want to do is make sure that this duplicate stays at the bottom. So that's it. So now you pick up the deck and you're going to do a Hindu shuffle and a Hindu shuffle is a Hindu shuffle force which is a very easy thing to do. Just gonna hold it like this in a end grip from the sides. And now you're going to strip cards off the top like this as you instruct them to, uh, to say stop somewhere. When they say stop, you're going to tap and then show the bottom card. It's a little counterintuitive, but it, it really does work, believe it or not. So we'll run through that again. You just kind of strip off cards off the top of the deck like this. Wherever they say stop, do this and now you show them the cover. And now you just drop it in the deck and you go through the same actions you did before. You want to wave or blow on the deck or anything like that and you spread through the deck to show that nothing's happened. Maybe you made a mistake. You square it up. You do it again showing that nothing's happened and then you point to the card that's already changed once and you turn it over. It's now the second selection. Now the original handling of this was basically a uh, blue deck and then you would blow on it and the heat from your breath would turn the card red because back then it was just red and blue. But with all these different cards you can do pretty much whatever you want. It's fine. So we'll just run through it one more time at full speed. So let's say here, take a look at the card, the four of diamonds, it goes into the deck, blow on it. There's a card right here. It's a, it's a little bit of a different color. Uh, what was your card? The Four of Diamonds. We'll do it again. Uh, this time just say stop wherever you want. You say stop. Okay, the Queen of Hearts. You spread out the cards and of course nothing changes. And when you turn it back over, that is the selection. It's a very strong effect, believe it or not. And it's fun to do. And you know, I'm sure you can play around with some other ideas. You know, color changing deck, color changing cards, all can be done with one extra card. In fact, there's a routine by David Williamson called Color Funner Stunner that is a color changing deck routine and a triumph using only one different card. So if you take this principle of having one extra card or duplicate, you can do some really, really amazing things. All right, so that's it. That is the Chicago opener, Red Hot Mama. I hope you enjoyed it. It's really not that hard. All you really need to do is a double lift and a Hindu force. It shouldn't really take that much to figure out. Uh, the presentation is something you can figure out too. It's super simple. But that is about it. The next video that you'll see from me will be another review show. And I'm going to be re reviewing two products this time. Uh, also, I, I stream on Twitch. So you guys can follow me in the links below for my uh, Twitch streams, which are pretty much all the time. But whatever, I, I like to have fun there. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below anything you want. Just tell me, you know what? Tell me something about somebody you care about. And even if they passed away, let's keep some of these people's memories alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.